Dear GagePack users, welcome to another video on GagePack learning series. In this video, I'm going to explain how the report feature in GagePack can be used. Some of the GagePack users are already using these features and for other GagePack users, this may be a new uh, feature. You may not be using this. So when you click on the tab report under home, you get this window. And these are predefined reports that uh, the GagePack team has created. At the time of installation, you will have all these predefined reports available to you. For example, uh, due for calibration next month, if I select this, and if I click on preview, I'll get a report and it is prompting me, you want only for active gauges or you want for active and inactive gauges. So let me say, I'm going to click on active and inactive gauges. What do I get? I get the PDF format of the report. Due for calibration next month, 13.3.2023 PQ systems. So this is the report. And this report you have from for active gauges as well as gauges which are not active. And if you see here, here there are five columns, gauge number, gauge description, current location, interval, calib due date. Now let's say as a user, you are not concerned about the current location. You are not concerned about the calibration interval. Instead of these two columns, I need gauge size and class calibrate or any other information that you would like. Or along with this five, you would also need to require the sixth column. So you want to edit this particular report. You want this report to be customized as per your requirement. So what we can do, this, this can be selected. This particular report can be selected and this you can click edit. Then this window opens. So this is a SQL code that we created to generate this report. So some of the GagePack users may be tech savvy to edit this particular report, whereas other GagePack users may not be tech savvy to edit this particular report. So what we can do is, instead of using this particular SQL code and editing this, we can also create the GagePack report with a very easy interactive user wizard. So that's what I'm going to show in today's video. So let me minimize this for some time, right? Okay. So what I need, I need the same gauges due for calibration next month, but I don't want it in the current format. I want it in a different format, maybe new columns added. So what I do, I click on create a new report. So when you click on create a new report, you get this window. And if you see this window is very similar to a pivot table window that we generally see in Microsoft Excel. So just to give you an idea what I'm talking about, so here is a pivot table. So I can drag and drop the columns from here to the rows or values I want. So based on that, my pivot table will get changed. And based on that, I'll be able to summarize the data the way I want. So similarly, there is a, a report wizard that we see here. And if you see, this is the column headers. So gauge number, gauge description. So along with this, I may also need calibration due date. So let me drag and drop calibration due date. Right. Okay. I have dragged and dropped calibration due date. Oh, sorry. Instead of calibration due date, I have dragged calibration due interval. I have made a mistake. So what can I do now? I can drag it back and put it in this particular area so that it gets removed. So what I need to add, I need to add calibration due date. So let me add that. So the third column. Then I need last calibrated date. When was it last calibrated? So I need that information. So last calib date. So last calibrate, I'm going to add here. Okay, no, last calibrate, I don't want it here. I want it here. What I can do, I can drag it and I can drop it here also. And I need gauge size. So let me take gauge size and add wherever I want. So if I want, I can add it here also. Gauge size, I can add it here. Okay. Now I have added these columns, right? Okay. Now I can save this report. So let me give a name to this report. So this is updated. Calib due next month. So we already have a Calib due next month report available, but we are updating this as per our requirement. So I'm calling it updated Calib due next month. All right. Okay. Okay. I have created the columns that I want by dragging and dropping this. Now, what are the conditions under which this report need to be generated? Condition number one. I want this to be generated only for active gauges. So what I do, I drag this column and I drop it in where, so this section. So the moment I drop it, it will prompt me. 
what kind of condition you want to apply. I say in this active column, whichever gauges where it is equal to yes, pick up only those gauges. So I say yes. So the first condition active is equal to true. Okay. So for active gauges, what I need? Active gauges, which is due for calibration next month. So what I do? I drag and drop it here. When I drag and drop it here, it says already there is a filter available or already there is a condition available. Along with this condition, you want to add another condition? Yes. And that condition should be an AND or R condition. So what is AND? Gauges which are due for calibration and also active. So I'm going to select AND. And after selecting AND, I say is equal to calibration due date is equal to so I can select today, this week, this month, this quarter, this year. So I'm going to select this month. So when I leave it at this stage, it's going to give me gauges due for calibration in the month of March, right? Because I have this March is the current month, but I want it for April. So what I do, I just say plus one, right? This month plus one. The second condition is also created. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this. I'm going to say preview. So when I click on preview, what happens? I get those gauges which are due for calibration as well as active. So those that comes here. But what is missing? The header, footer, these kind of information which was there in my previous report is missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to come back to my old report, the previous report. So that report was calib. That is calib due date. That is due for calibration next month. So I select this and I say date. So when I say edit, it tells me how my report header should be. Right? I'm going to copy the same report header. Just copy this. Close this. So these are user defined reports. Updated calib due next month. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to say edit. And this time it says again, you want to edit using wizard or you want to edit directly using your text editor. So I'm going to say, let me edit it using my text editor. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this header and footer with the header information that I have taken from my previous report. I'm going to save, close this. Now I click this, I say preview. So when I click on preview, now what happens? I get my header and footer details available. So this is how you can generate a new report or you can customize your old report and you can make use of this report feature.